you're welcome to my channel in this video we want to draw a circle that has six different circles inside of it that is we want to draw six circles six equal circles in a given circle such that each of the circle is touching the circumference of the bigger circle so the first thing you do depending on the measurements that we given to you but for this particular circle, I'll use a diameter of what? The diameter of 120. Right? And the radius will be what? 60. I'm going to draw my horizontal line this way. You can see that. And I'll place this to draw my vertical line this way. This way. You can see that? And I'm going to take half of it. I'll take half of it, which is 60, half of the diameter, which is 60. You see that? And I'll place it at the center here of the circle. And I'm going to draw a bigger circle. I'll thicken it. You can see? So I'll call that center my center O. That again. So let me make it bigger. And this is what we actually have here. Now I want to draw six circles that will be touching each of the circle. First of all, I'm going to divide this into 12. Is that again? So with the help of my compass. You can see that I'm going to mark the top. I'll come here, I'll mark the top two. I'll come to this point left and right. You can see so I'm taking that is use the radius of what of the circle and I'll place it from the center. With reference to the point I marked, this point here, I pass it through the center this way, and this to the center this way, and this to the center this way. And this to the center this way now if you see what I've done now I need a um, I'll ignore the center I'll focus I'll call it to be a I'll call it to be B right ignore this I'll call it to be C ignore this I'll call it to be D ignore this I'll call it to be E Ignore this, I'll call it to be what? F. So I don't really need this one. So I'm going to delete them off now. So this is what we have, right? So in the nutshell, if you have to draw a circle, you just need your 60 degree. Both are these two sides. So this is what I just need here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to bisect the angle. Either the angle between A and B. Or the angle between C and the any of the angle at all. So I'll be taking the vertical angle here. I'm going to bisect this. I'll just draw a line this way. You can see that. And I'll place it at this point where it cuts here. I'll call it to be what? B prime. I'll call it to be what? A prime. So the same radius, or I extend it at B prime. I'll strike an arc. At A prime, I'll strike another arc. You can see that? So we automatically already have it there. Is that the key? So it's already there. That vertical line that was there before. So I'll just draw this up. This way. This is what we have here. You can see? Now the next thing I'm going to do there is that where the line meets this point here. 
this is O, I'll call it O prime. I'm going to draw a tangential line to that point this way. A line that is what? Tangential to that point this way. So let's place from here. And I'll draw a line this way. Can you see that? Now I will now extend this line of OB. Are you with me? I will extend it to touch the horizontal line. If I like, I can also extend this, but I don't really. But let me just extend it to show you something. Now, I've extended it. What are you seeing? It is bringing out a triangle, right? And we want to inscribe a circle in this triangle. It means that from this point to this point is repeated in all sides. So we'll draw a circle here. So if you want to know how to inscribe a, tri a triangle, a circle in a triangle, you just click on this link and it will take you there where you'll be able to inscribe um, a circle in a triangle. But for the benefit of those watching this video right now, what you do is that in terms of inscribing a circle in a triangle, you need to bisect the angles, right? Two of any of the angles. We have one angle here, we have another one here, and we have another one here. So we've already inscribed, we've already bisected just one already. So we just need one to complete it. So when I place it at this point here, at this point, I'm going to draw a, a, a hug this way. I'll draw an arc this way. So let's call that point. Let's call it to be point E or point um, W this way. So at that point, here will be my W prime. Here will be my W prime prime. Right? So I'll now place it. I use this arc from point W to get this. So at W prime, I'll strike an arc. This way, a W prime prime. I'll check another arc this way. So where they meet, I'm going to draw a line that will pass through that point. They meet at this point here. Let me call that point point Q. So when they meet at point Q, I'll draw a draw a line that will pass through that point this way. So where it meets will be the center of this circle right let me call that center arrow now instead of me repeating the same process now let's see i will now take my compass place it at point arrow here two points o prime here then i'll see if i can draw my circle you must gauge them right you must ensure that you're gauging those points to ensure that it's touching each of the um sides of the so with addition to each of the sides so this is it here so it's touching each of the sides I see that Must touch at least must be on two sides. So we go have here. This is the first inscribing of the circle in the triangle. Now, what I'll do is, instead of me repeating the same process all through, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw from this point, right? I'll draw a semicircle, a circle going through that point throughout. So what do you notice? You know, initially when we started, we marked this point, right? 
we map towards this point. So from this point, we divided like the circle into 12. So we map this point and this point. So if you notice it, this is going through like this as you divide it into 12. I deleted so I can just um, bring out this point again. Come here again, bring out this point again, paint line. This way. Right? Then, now this is where they are meeting. Where they are meeting, this will be the center. I'll call it to be my arrow one. Right, the next center between C and D, I'll call it to be what my arrow 2 between D and E, I'll call it to be my arrow 3 between E and F, I'll call it to be what my arrow 4 between F and G, I'll call this what my arrow 5. Then this is the next one there, so that will be the center of each of the circle. So when I place it at this point, arrow 1, I'm going to gauge it. Right, and ensure it is touching through. You get it well, and ensure it is what it is touching through. Right, Make sure it is touching well. Sorry. The next one, right for arrow one, I'll come to here also for arrow two, the same measurement. You can see that for arrow three, the same measurement should be at that point. Measurement R four R five. So this is what we have here. Is that taking? And sometimes this is six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can get the seventh one if chosen. But if you're not asked to, you can just stop here. But if you're told seven circle, just place at the center and you get it to one of the circumference here. And you draw. You can see. So these are seven circles in a circle. They are taken. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.